Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a TJ Maxx haul. First and foremost, I want to apologize for my hair. I just kind of put it up. It's messy. I just got back from the gym, but I thought, you know what? I need to record this TJ Maxx haul because it's been a while. Um, I didn't get a lot of things, but I did find a few goodies. So let's get started. So first I went to the Oshkosh TJ Maxx. Um, right now I am kicking myself because they had this fabulous, fabulous bubble bath there. I don't remember the brand. I don't remember the name of the scent, but it literally smelled like sugar candy. Like it was beautiful and I'm kicking myself for not getting it. It was like a sugar smoothie or something like that. I don't know, but I left it there. So, oh, the dog, oh, she's driving me nuts. I've been gone and, um, all day at work, so I'm just gonna carry her during this haul, and you're gonna have to put up with her because she's Snooky Louise. Anyway, um, okay, so skipped out on the smoothie, kicking myself, haven't been back since. I know now that if I want something, I should grab it no matter what. But anyway, so we went to the Oshkosh TJ Maxx, and this is what I found. I was kind of surprised. Um, I found this huge bag of dry roasted edamame and this huge bag of spicy wasabi edamame. Now this stuff is really good for a snack on its own. It's loaded with protein. Um, I use it on top of my salad. It's a very healthy alternative for nuts as well. It's a soybean. Um, and these are, two, this was $2.79 and this was a 7.5 ounce bag. I've had this brand before, this, um, what is it? Sea Point Farms, gluten-free, high protein. Anyway, I've had this brand before and I absolutely love it. I use it mainly on my salads, sometimes for a snack. Um, the serving size is a fourth of a cup, so you do kind of get a lot, I mean. And it's, like I said, a really nice alternative for a salad. So if you're at TJ Maxx, make sure and look for these. Like I said, this is the first time that I saw them, but these are one of my new obsessions for sure. And it said that they um, retail for $4, so $2.79 was a pretty good deal. So then I decided to go to the Appleton TJ Maxx the next day because, like I said, I was kicking myself with that smoothie uh, bubble bath, and I thought, you know what, let me just go to the Appleton one. I'll see what they have there. If they have it, I'll grab it. Well, they didn't have it, but they did have this, and I have been eyeing this stuff up for a very long time. This is called um, Barney Butter by Barney and Company. It is almond butter. It is coconut and um, cacao. Yes, cacao. Cacao, if you don't know what cacao is, it's basically raw chocolate. This stuff was amazing. Now, I shouldn't have bought this. This was a dangerous, dangerous food to have in the house. It is empty now, you guys. I'm basically showing you an empty because within a week span, I ate it. Oh, fuck me, Jesus. It smells delicious, and it was delicious. So basically what happened was, well, let me tell you guys the, the description first or whatever. It was um, $8 compared to 10 so it was a lot of money. I don't even know why I bought this. There's only 10 ounces in here. It's peanut-free. It's gluten-free. It's free, free, free of everything. It's got coconut in it, and it was amazing. I put this on a piece of toast, so I put like two tablespoons on a piece of toast and had that one day, and I was like, oh, this is going to be a definite danger food. Then the next day, I used it for dipping my apple in. So I was like, oh my God, this is really good. And then the following day, I just said, fuck it. And I took a spoon to the jar and I ate the whole damn thing. Now, like I said, this is only 10 ounces. So this is, you know, not that big of a jar, I guess, but definitely a danger food. Definitely something that I am not going to be able to have in my house ever again. But if you do like almond butter, definitely give it a try. Um, like I said, it is a little bit pricey, but oh my gosh, you guys, it was so good. Okay, so next I went into the like bath items. I was looking for Philosophy, Crabtree, and Evelyn. Basically something that I didn't have or that I needed in my collection that I ran out of. And I did find this. This is an eight ounce Philosophy shower gel in and Snow Angel. Um, I like this one because it's iridescent-y. This basically says, Snow Angels come to call during the happiest season of all. 
The warmth of their glow and joyful sound bring love and peace to those around. Snow angels sprinkle sweetly fallen snow from the night sky as they hover in the clouds watching over you and I. Their kiss so sweet, their hearts filled with joy. They bring holiday cheer to every girl and boy. So um, like I said, this is eight ounces. I don't know if I'm going to be using this as a gift or for myself. I have not decided yet. It was $7.99 comparable to $12.50. Um, was this a good deal? Hmm. I don't know. I saw it and I had to have it. Um, it smells amazing. I opened it just because, like I open it right now, just because I know that if I do give it as a gift, it's going to go to one of my kids or my mom, but or my sister. But oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so beautiful. Um, if any of you guys have Snow Angel, leave a comment down below. I've um, been taking like bubble baths at night too, so I thought that this would be really good for that also. And now, are you ready for it? The Big Find, The Big Kahuna, Candy Cane Philosophy Shower Gel, Shampoo or Bubble Bath, in a fucking huge bottle. You guys, this is 32 fluid ounces. It is huge. Usually these come with a pump. I have never in my life, oh, it's not like focusing, there we go. I have never in my life seen this at a TJ Maxx ever. Um, it retails, or I bought it for $19.99 and compared to $27. And yes, these usually always go for $27. Bucks. But this scent is to die for. Now, last, um, oh, it's like the mintiest, mintiest mint, mint, mint. It's like mintier than junior mints. And it's almost like a York peppermint patty. That's exact without the chocolate. You know, like how York... It's like, oh, so, so good. Anyway, these usually come with a pump, and this one did not. I do have a pump, though, an extra pump that I can use for this. Um, but, yeah, I figured shower gel, bubble bath for sure. Um, I was really, really happy to find this. They had three of them there. My mom was with me. She's like, Angela, I should have bought one. And I'm like, yeah, you should have bought one, but you didn't, and I did. So I was so happy about that. But anyway, you guys, that was my TJ Maxx haul. Um, if you guys have any of these products, leave a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching, and happy day, everyone. Bye-bye.